<laughs> Viva la vegan! Hi, I'm Lee Chantel from VivaLaVegan.net and welcome to this week's question and answer, which we have a new one every Tuesday on this YouTube channel. And this week's question is, what's the best source of protein? Now, whether you're a vegan or not vegan, I'm sure that you're aware that everyone is obsessed with protein. And you don't need to be, because I doubt that you or anyone you know would actually have any lack of protein whatsoever. Um, if you follow my website, vivalavegan.net, you may be aware that I do an interview series with um, vegan athletes, fitness fanatics and exercise enthusiasts. And one of the questions is, what do people ask you and how do you respond? And the overwhelming question that vegans get is like 95% at least, and I've interviewed at least um, 80 people for this interview series so far. And the question that all of these people seem to get is, where do you get your protein? And I would have thought in this day and age, people would know a bit more about their health or know a bit more about nutrition or care to actually do a bit of research outside the mainstream to find out. But it seems not so in many cases. Anyway, so today I'm just going to go through a few sort of things in regards to protein and you don't need an excessive amount of protein at all and too much protein, especially from animal products, can actually increase the risk of osteoporosis and kidney disease. And we need protein just as much as we need some other essential nutrients like carbohydrates, like fat and water and along with other vitamins and minerals. There's some great information online on some websites, including Vegetarian Resource Group, No Meat Athlete, and Michael Greger's Nutritional Facts, which is an amazing website. Protein recommendations for vegans is close to 10% of calories coming from protein, unless you're an athlete, which you may need more, but you just check that out for yourself. Um, and if you'd really like to know what some of the athletes that I've interviewed class as their favorite source of protein, make sure you see the, the interviews on my website. Years ago, they used to say that we had to protein combine, which is not true. We don't have to do that. If you're eating a well-balanced and varied diet, vegan diet, and consuming all the vegan food staples, which if you're not aware of, include fruits and vegetables, whole grains, legumes, beans and pulses, and nuts and seeds. If you're consuming a wide variety of things from all of those different staples, you will be able to get all the protein that you need. Just make sure that you get enough calories. So fruits, sugars, fats and alcohol, they don't provide so much protein. So if these foods are your main staples in your diet, you may be sufficient. And you may also need to change a few things in your diet. Um, I just thought I'd list some really great vegan protein sources for you. But keep in mind, protein is in just about everything you consume in some, in some percentage. Okay, some ideas are tofu and tempeh, which is from soybeans, so therefore soybeans is also another protein source, along with some other legumes, including um, lentils, black beans, and chickpeas. Quinoa is another great um, protein source, as are peas, TVP, which is textured vegetable protein, and other meat alternatives. Peanut butter and almonds and other nuts also as well. So I hope that's given you some idea of what the best source of protein is. I hope to see you next week at our video question and answer. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I'll see you for next week's question, which is, there are no animal rights groups in my area. What should I do? Thank you and see you next week.